so here is the problem. High order is a center pivot irrigation system. How many of you guys have ever been over to Eastern Washington? Okay, when you guys get past Ellensburg and you go down through Vantage and up and you see the horses on the hill. Anyway, you get over to Eastern Washington and I'm talking, there are fields and fields and fields of farms everywhere over there. Um, and so when we talk about irrigation systems, huge. Eastern Washington, let me tell you, they know all about it. So I'm um, in the irrigation system. Does anybody know what that is? What? How they get water. Yeah, how they water their crops. Yep. So high orders a center pivot irrigation system to water his fields. The system is made up of a line of connected pipes that turn around a center point. High system will be 1,320 feet in length. So my first question I have for you guys is this. What's this problem talking about? Hey, Duncan, we put your Chromebook away. You don't need it right now. Okay. What's this problem talking about? What? Okay, talking about an irrigation system, right? Okay, so next, what do we, what do you notice about this problem? Oops, sorry. What do you notice about this problem? Hold on, I gotta go back. What do you notice about this problem? Talk to your groups, go. All right, cool. So next, so what is the, sh don't answer out loud. What is the shape of the space high system will water? What's the longest distance across the water space? All right, so what I would like you to do is on your desks, can you guys please try to solve this problem? Okay, try to solve this problem, go. So ready? Listen. Okay. With the pivot, okay, what shape will you cover when you do an area of this? Um, so what's the shape that's going to be formed, Duncan? Circle. It's gonna be a circle, right? Because if you look at this, right? And I'm gonna scoot this over. Okay, stop talking. So here is the center. And here, there's a whole bunch of pipes that are put together, right? And on the edge of these pipes, that's where the sprinkler is. So it's set on a timer and it goes, shh, 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 right? So, like, yeah. So, so it goes, shh, shh, okay? So it goes all the way, oh, don't mind my bad circle. All right, but so what shape, what shape is formed? A circle, right? But here's the best question. It says that his system will be 1,320 feet in length, but what's the longest distance that it can cover? What's the longest distance that it can cover? All right, so ready? If you think about this outer edge, right? So the only thing that is getting, the only thing that is getting um, watered is everything on the inside, right? So everything on the outside of this is not getting watered. So what do we call, and I know that's what we're talking about area, but let's talk about this. Does anybody know what the outside of a circle is called on a rectangle and a square it's called perimeter but on a but on a circle it's called what it's the circumference so this right here the outside of any circle is called the circumference of a circle all right so see this this is a circle so the distance around the outside of the circle is the circumference of the circle all right, yes. Is it always five? Uh, we're gonna talk about that today. All right, so here is what you guys are going to do. Go ahead and erase your desks, okay? Okay, so here is what we just researched. And for those of you guys that are at, that are at home, 
um, and you're watching this video, um, you can go look at the spreadsheet that is posted on Google Classroom to see what we found out. So what we noticed is that every single time the ratio of the circumference to the diameter came out to be the value of pi. This symbol right here is the pi symbol. Pi has a value of 3.14, blah, 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 blah. But typically, we just round it to 3.14, OK? All right, so the circumference divided by the diameter gives us the value of pi. Are you guys with me? So what if I asked you this? Just a second. What if I asked you or told you this, that I have a circle? Here's my circle. My diameter is 10 inches. And I wanted you to find out what my circumference would be. Could you, this is called a formula, right? All right, it's an equation, right? Okay, eyes up here. This is an equation because it's got uh, variables and an equal sign to it. How could you rewrite this equation so that you're solving for the circumference? Okay, so right now, talk to your groups. Go. The what? Are you fixing something? He wanted to fix that thing. I need. Uh, it is there, yeah. All right, ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Now, I'm going to share this with you guys. Okay. All right. What'd you guys get? What'd you guys get? Okay. All right. What'd you guys get? All right. I see a lot of noses. I don't want to see any runny noses. What? All right. What'd you get? Did you guys, did anybody get anything different? Okay. Well, I need to show and share this with you guys. Are you guys listening? Because there's two answers to this. Are you ready? Oh, I'm back. Sorry. All right. So there's two ways to come up with the answer to this. There's an exact answer. So I have to repeat myself and the approximate answer. Okay. If you think, let's start actually with the approximate answer first. Is the value of pi just 3.14? No. No. It's 3.14. Right. And so if I was looking for the approximate answer, I would substitute in 3.14 in for pi. Watch. Circumference equals 3.14. So I took the, the pi symbol out and I plugged in the approximate value of pi times 10 inches, which you guys all got this. You guys all said that it was this. But this. See those squiggly lines right there? Yeah. That means it's approximate. It's not the exact answer. If I wanted the exact answer, look what I look what I would get. You ready? Circumference equals pi times 10 inches. And I would leave it just like this. You're going to leave the pi symbol in as the pi symbol. And you're just going to put the number in front of the pi symbol and then label it. That is the exact answer. Because even if you were to push eyes up here, eyes up here, even if you were to use the pi symbol on your calculator, it still eventually grounds it. All right. But um, look, okay, if you do pi times 10, okay, do you guys see what you get? You get 3.1. You get 31.4159254, but up there it's a three, but they rounded it, right? 
So that's why if you want the exact answer, you leave the pi symbol as the pi symbol. If you want the approximate, then what you do is you substitute in pi rounded. Do you guys understand what I just said? Yes. Okay. 